Hey there, it's Vicki Marie. I just wanted to sit down with you and talk to you about this book that I'm reading. Uh, it's called The Artist Way. It's uh, basically a, a program for people who want to get unstuck and tap into their creativity. And who doesn't want that, right? I mean, don't we want more fun, more energy? Tap into that creative, our creative to us, side of us. I think we all have a creative side. Uh, some of us express it in the kitchen. Some of us express it in our journals. Some of us, you know, create beautiful art that we share with people and, and even sell it. Um, the author of this book, her name is Julia Cameron. She wrote this book, I think in 1992, uh, in the early 1990s. And um, it's been around a long time. Uh, she wrote it to help um, artists and become unstuck, be able to create, you know, just really rediscover their creative side. And she's, uh, the, millions have, have used this. It's a course in discovering and rediscovering your creative self. Now I just received the 25th uh, anniversary edition. Uh, this actually came out in 2016. So even this is, you know, it's not new. The original one that I did was the 2010 edition, anniversary edition. And um, this is the one I've had for years, but I did, I just decided to upgrade and do this one. My friend also ordered the 25 anniversary edition book and she received the 30th anniversary edition book. So I didn't even know there was a 30th and um, we can't even find it on Amazon. So it must be really new. I don't know. Um, so I ordered that from Amazon. It was $12 and something. I also ordered this companion manual. It's called... Artist Way, the Artist Way Morning Pages Journal. You don't need this. This was like 17, almost $18. You don't need this. Uh, I did get it. It's the first time I've ever bought the journal. And it's just blank. It's just blank, you know, lots of blank to write in. It has, has writing prompts and just uh, quotes from the book. But other than that, it's just a blank journal. You can easily use something like this. Uh, composition book. I picked this up at uh, Walmart. I have a lot of these. I also have stacks of just journals back there that I use. Uh, some of those are old. I have some back there from the 1990s that I used uh, and wrote in when my kids were small. And that's been really fun. I actually gave them some copies of a few things that I wrote. So uh, the artist way um, is designed to help you to get unstuck. Uh, and if you don't think you're creative or you don't think you're an artist, I'm here to say that I think you are. Especially if you are uh, if you are creating content on YouTube, you are a, you're a creator. You're an artist. Uh, if you're not creating content on YouTube or another platform, um, perhaps you're cooking in the kitchen and you just have this passion for uh, creating really beautiful dishes or yummy, uh, delicious meals. Maybe you like to de decorate your home. But everybody finds a way to express that creative side. We all have what I like to call gifts of the spirits, uh, and we share those. And um, I think the artist way helps us to tap into that. Now, this can be a spiritual path as well. Um, it doesn't have to be. It's not affiliated with any type of organized religion or anything like that. But it can be a very spiritual journey for some. So, there are 12 chapters in this book. And you do one chapter a week. And um, it's sort of like riding a bike. I can't give you a book and say, read this and you'll be able to ride a bike. You have to actually get on the bike and you have to pedal. And it's the same with this. You can't just read it, you have to read it. You have to do these, the homework and the assignments. There's a lot of writing involved. This is a great, um, a great course for people who want to write, you know, and want to take themselves a little more seriously maybe, and just get in the habit of writing. I think most people who want to write and just say, okay, I don't, um, I, I just can't, I, I don't have the time or, or what have you to write, or I'll never be able, I kind of want to write a book, or I kind of want to do this, and they just never really, uh, never gets off the ground. I think it's because they don't make time to do it. They don't make time to write. I think we all can write. Now, some people can go on and publish their writing. I'm more of a closet writer. I like to write. Uh, I get inspiration from my writing. It does help me to create content on YouTube. And I'm looking to just sort of give myself a boost and be able to come here to my channel and create even better content uh, because I am 
feeling more focused and more inspired and more tuned in to what's most important to me. Uh, for me, being on YouTube, this platform has never just been about putting out two or three videos a week. It's about tapping into what's important to me and I feel like I come, I fall short of that sometimes because uh, I sort of give in to just, okay, let me just get something done and I really want to start diving a little deeper. I kind of go through these phases where I, I, I wouldn't say I get burned out, but I think we all sort of get feel like this block, this creative block. I certainly hit this creative block uh, in my own, in, in my channel here, but also in my life. And this is what really helps me to just sort of, it gives me that boost and helps me to just get on with it. So um, I'm going to share two of the exercises from the book with you. There's a lot. Um, but this video would be way too long if I went into the details. So I'll just share a couple of things with you. First, um, there's going to be assignments for you throughout the book, but two of the first ones you're going to begin. One's morning pages, and that's why there's uh, the companion manual for um, the morning pages journal. That's why this is here. Uh, but like I said, you don't need this. You can just write in a blank notebook. Um, so the first thing that you're going to start doing when you begin this program is you are going to uh, write every every morning when you wake up, first thing, you grab your pen, you grab a journal, and you do stream of consciousness writing. You put your pen to the paper and you just keep writing. And even if it's horrible, it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to read it but you. Keep in mind, you can burn them if you want. You can tear them up, shred them, whatever you have to tell yourself so you feel safe to write. For yourself now I do have a, a friend I'm not going to share her name because I want to respect her privacy but I do have a friend who journaled uh, when she was younger and somebody actually found that journal and read it and she just felt so it, it, it just did not feel right to her and it's sort of made her hesitant to write in a journal again so I'm sharing that I know she won't mind because um, you guys don't know who she is. Uh, but I've worked with a lot of friends who have gone through this book. Um, so, you know, if that's happened to you and you're afraid somebody's going to find it, it's just going to block you from writing what you need to write, saying to yourself what you need to say to yourself. This journaling process, it's, it's stream of consciousness writing. It is like looking in a mirror, looking at yourself square in the eyes and saying, okay, girly, okay, guy, whatever, what's up, let's talk what's going on with you and you discover as in the process what is important to you what you really want out of life why maybe you're going through the emotions and doing things but you're not feeling fulfilled like there's a lot of work here um, and a lot of clarification and it is like looking at yourself in a mirror so if you're feeling a little bit hesitant to share in your journal because you are afraid that somebody might come back and read that it will sort of hamper your ability to just be fully expressed. So that's why I always like to say, lock them up if you want. Find, get yourself a box with a key and lock it up uh, if you have to. Um, if you, you know, if you want, you can, uh, now I, most of my journals I have kept. There are a couple I would like to burn before I, you know, but if my family finds them, I'm not, it's not anything that would bother me, but I write whatever I need to say if I am, feeling upset, angry, frustrated, something, my feelings are hurt. I know I can go to my journal and I can write whatever I need to say. And I do have a file cabinet that locks up and I can lock them in there if I want to. But if I had something that I wrote that I really just did not want anybody to, to read, it could go in the shredder. Honestly, just rip the pages out and throw them in the, sh in the shredder. Better to write it and shred it than to hold it inside and not release that. So that's my own opinion. So you just want to write and you want to share every morning when you first wake up, write, even if it's just, okay, I got to do these morning pages again and I really don't know what to say, don't know what to write. You just write and write until you have filled up three pages. And once you've filled up three pages, um, you, and there are some other resources. I'm not going to go into those because you don't need those. This is the basic program and um, if you are curious about the artist way this is how I recommend that you would get started just doing them freehand in a notebook three pages every morning don't stop writing if you get into a, a where you don't know what to say I don't know what to say I don't know what to say I don't know what to say oh wait I remember oh this is really bugging me oh geez that he made me so mad yesterday or 
you will be surprised and you don't want to filter it. This is not something that's going to be published. You're not writing a novel. You are just getting out the garbage that's all stuck in here and helping you to stay blocked. So that's what morning pages are. And I would highly recommend that you do them, even if you just commit for, you know, the 12 weeks that you're doing the program and you never want to do it again. I started doing morning pages all those years ago and I still do them. So it has been a, a huge, huge part of my own self-care routine. And I can honestly say it's made a huge difference in my life. I went to having a job I did not really like, but paid me really well um, to, leaving that and then jumping into something that I had so much passion for and took me into amazing places really in my career, but that not physical places, although I had opportunities to travel a little bit, but um, it, you know, I had these opportunities. I met amazing people. I got to do amazing work that fulfilled me. I don't know that that, that would have happened if I had not started this book all those years ago. So you don't have to be an artist, you, be an everyday artist looking for some somebody who wants to Bring more creativity, tap into the creativity, bring it into your life, figure out what, what makes you smile, what are you passionate about, what makes your spirit soar, that is what you're going to find in this work. So uh, I recommend it. The, the second exercise I want to share is just every week you will be asked to go out and take yourself on a creative artist date. And that just means you go out by yourself and you do something. Um, that you enjoy doing. You have to enjoy it and you have to be by yourself and you want to explore and you want to, you know, bump up against the, like ideas and things like it. Like if you like to quilt, then going to a quilting store and just immersing yourself in those things that make you smile. If you like to bake, then going to the bakery department or the ingredient, like a baking store, you know, like we have this bakery where you can go um, and you can you know, they have all kinds of stuff if you want to bake at home, but they also have, they bake cakes. So that's a fun place to go. I mean, baking is, I love to bake, but it's not my primary passion, but I do like to go there. It's fun. I get, you know, I can go in there, get myself a, a cupcake and peruse all the aisles. It's not about buying anything. You don't have to buy anything. Uh, this one gal in our group, she used to go to the Dollar Tree and spend $5. Like, I'm just going to go to the Dollar Tree Sometimes that's what she would do by herself and she would just spend $5 and it was not a necessity, like buying necessities. It were, you know, five things that makes, that made her smile, you know, that kind of thing. So you can take yourself to lunch, go to a movie by yourself, but you have to go by yourself. And it is, it, it's really powerful. You, you start to develop this confidence and strength and you, you know, you're, and you know, be safe. Of course, in this day and age, we have to be mindful of certain things, but you know, you want to be mindful. I love to go to the park and sit on a bench with a cup of coffee and just kind of watch this time of year, watch the look at the flowers or go, go to the lake and watch the ducks. So whatever lights you up, go do it once a week, spend go for an hour and just take yourself out on an artist date. You're worth it. And it does, it does really help. So those are two of the exercises from the book that you're going to begin immediately. And then there are others that you will uh, incorporate as you go. You'll be asked to answer questions about, you know, the things you love to do as a child. There's going to be times when you might feel a little confronted in my morning pages. Sometimes I'll write and then I'll like, something's bothering me, but I can't identify it. And all of a sudden I'm confronted in my morning pages by something that really, that's been kind of nagging at me. And I, I wasn't able to articulate it, but then through writing, I'm like, oh wow, I, I, that happened a month ago, but it's still there. Um, there's nothing to do with it. Uh, you don't have to take that information and do anything with it, uh, but it, it's, it's very cleansing and it, it feels great when you start doing it. So at least it has for me and it's made such a difference in my life. And that's why I really wanted to come on today and share this book, The Artist Way. It's a 12 week program and a course in discovering and rediscovering your creative self. We each have a creative self. We each are creative. I believe, and this is my personal belief, that our our gifts are, we have, we're all gifted in some way. Maybe we're a good listener. Maybe we are, you know, like there's something that, hospitality is a gift, by the way. I've always believed that creating an environment for people uh, to feel warm and, and safe and happy, creating a home, that's a gift. 
And so we each have a gift and we have to identify what that is. And then we, that's our gift. That's our, that's our gift from God. And then when we express that into the world and share it with others, that's our gift back to God. That's how I see it. And I learned that all those years ago, reading the artist way. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. And if you are thinking about reading the book, I hope that helps you to decide. It's not for everyone, but it really has been something that has made a difference in my life and has been so worthwhile. And I was just happy to share it. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have done this book or read this book, let me know in the comments what you thought. And if you have any questions about The Artist's Way, I'd be happy to answer them uh, and do a follow-up video at some point. I won't be doing like a weekly. I'm not going to, I'm going to be working on it with a friend, but we're not going to come on on this channel and go through the book and do like a detailed book club, uh, book study. I kind of mentioned that possibility, but I kind of, I, I decided that's probably not a good fit uh, and it would be too long. It would be a long video, but I'll come on and and give you updates along the way, short little updates on my videos. Uh, especially if you have questions, just let me know. I'll be happy to share more. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care. Keep those high vibes going, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you? Want to see you smile? Where's the happy girl that I know with a heart on fire?